everyone welcome to my channel so i'm going to pull some cards for you guys and see what messages the universe has for you we're going to see what your person is feeling currently what they're thinking is there any energy that they're going to be bringing towards you during this retrograde and whatever other messages that the universe wants you to know spirit what messages do you have for the collective what is their person feeling and thinking okay so this card wanted to jump the deck we have patterns. I feel like I don't deserve your love. I'm worried you'll leave me when you see who I really am. So someone could be hiding their true self from you. Maybe they're afraid that you're going to judge them or you're not going to want to be with them when you find out who they really are. Okay, give me one second. That card flipped on the floor. Oh, okay. So we have messages of trust. I need you to trust me and believe I am working towards a union with you. So this could be someone that you're not talking to right now. We have, I daydream about you. Sometimes it's sexual. Other times I visualize our future together. So this is someone who wants to be with you collective, but they could be holding back. Maybe this person lives at a distance. We have airplane, travel, long distance speed, overcoming something. Um, I feel like some of you may be dealing with someone who lives at a distance. Maybe you're waiting to see when you can travel um, towards this person or they may be trying to travel towards you or this is something that you're looking forward to. I want to know everything about you, but I hold myself back from asking. I'm afraid I'll get in too deep. And we have communication, telephone, connection, communication, getting through throat chakra. Someone's throat chakra may be blocked. Um... We have messages. All right, so I feel like there's going to be communication coming in from someone that you're waiting to hear from doing this retrograde. You could be afraid to talk to this person. Maybe they're afraid to talk to you about something. I feel like you guys are afraid for different reasons, though, you and your person. It's like you may be afraid to talk to someone because you may feel like they're going to blow up on you or blow up, like, um, you know, say something that you don't want to hear. It's something here where um, I feel like someone wants to communicate with you, but they may be afraid to say what's truly on their mind. And you may not want to communicate with this person because you don't know you fear how they're going to act towards you. I feel like some of you are dealing with someone who don't know how to communicate effectively. This person may like everything turns into an argument with them. We have, I feel you pulling away and it triggers my fears that you'll leave me for good. So someone is afraid you're going to walk away from them. And then we have curtain call, acclaim, fame, recognition. Some of you, your person is famous or they're in the limelight. They could um, be really big on social media or um, a YouTube platform or something like that. TikTok. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collectives? What can they expect from their person? Communication. I wanted to send you a message today, but I was afraid to. I don't know if you want to hear from me or if I can say the right things to you. Somebody is afraid to talk to you, collectives. I don't know why this person could be afraid unless they said something to hurt your feelings or they broke your heart or they've had a change of heart. Maybe someone walked away from you. Take it how it resonates. Everyone's situation is going to be different. We have, I long to sweep you off your feet and shower you with my love. We are coming into union. So when someone feels like a connection isn't over, we have roses, love, romance, and affection. So this is what this person misses. It's like they miss the tender side of the connection or they're still infatuated. It's like whatever passion and chemistry you brought towards the situation, they could be missing that. We also have, I long for your kisses and your touch. I don't feel deserving and it's affecting my levels of abundance and openness. So someone feels like you're too much for them or they're not on your level. We also have very likely at this time, the situation or outcome is likely to occur. So whatever you guys are thinking about or wanting to happen, the universe is saying it's very likely that this is going to be happening during retrograde season. And we also have, I hurt you and I'm sorry. I hope you can forgive me someday and understand I was reacting out of fear. Let's get one more. Surrender brings us together faster than resistance. So the universe is saying that you guys are holding back from each other, but 
really you should be trying to find a way to come towards this person especially if you still love them and they still love you we are one don't let fear get in the way of this truth okay so i feel like someone still wants to be with you but they're holding back because they're afraid i'm trying to figure out this connection i've never experienced anything like it before this person may also be um married or in a committed situation with someone else too that could also be holding them back collective I feel the sexual energy between us, yet it's beyond physical attraction. It needs to be elevated to the expression of deep, unconditional love. All right. So that is what your person is feeling and thinking. But we're going to pull some more cards here. And we're going to see what they were really up to. Spare, what messages do you have for the collectives? What is your person feeling and thinking? We have, I'm holding a grudge and I don't know how to let it go. Okay. So, someone's holding a grudge with you. Let's see why. Spirit, why is this person holding a grudge? Spirit, Spirit, why is the collective person holding a grudge? I feel like this somebody is mad that you won't open up and talk to them. But this person may have hurt your feelings or broke your heart. And you don't know what to say to them. Oh, well, Okay. Mm -hmm. exactly i've been fighting my feelings for you for so long trying to keep you only as a friend but it's getting harder to do you've left an indelible mark on my heart i've been forever changed and we have i've been keeping us a secret for so long i feel no one will understand our love so this person feels like you need to put more effort into this connection some of you um I just feel like this person did something to upset you. They did something to piss you off. And so you're like, you know what? I'm not like, I'm not doing this anymore. Like it's something that happened here where I feel like you want to come towards this person. You still hold the space in your heart for them, but you're not quite sure where you stand with them. Spare, what messages do you have for the collective? I feel like somebody's going to be reaching out to you unexpectedly. My heart always comes back to you even when I try so hard to resist it. Yeah, someone is trying to let you go. It's like they may feel like they can't be with you. I've never been in love before until I met you. It was love at first sight. I like you, but I'm not ready for anything serious right now. Let's keep our options open. Okay, so somebody, um, it's like they want to be with you, but they don't want to commit or they can't commit to the situation. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? What is your person feeling and thinking? All right, so we have, I'm emotionally detaching from you. I'm trying to move on. Please love yourself and find your own happiness. Others are vying for my attention, but I only have eyes for you. This heart belongs to you. Some of you are dealing with someone who's bipolar as hell. It's like one minute they want you, the next minute they don't. And then like in between, they're confused as fuck. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing here in this reading. Now, everybody person does not have bipolar issues, but I'm just saying, I feel like some of you, you're dealing with someone who either don't know what they want or it's like they just go back and forth all the time. Like one minute they want you, the next minute they don't. And then in between, they have no idea what's going on. And I feel as the, feel like this confuses you and the situation and you may not want to be bothered with this person. We have losing you has been a devastating loss. I'm trying hard to pick up the pieces. So some of you may be feeling this way as well. Like losing this person, you may feel like this was someone that you truly loved and you didn't expect something to happen. It's like you didn't see it coming. I feel like something caught you off guard, collectives, and you guys are sad about it, but you're trying to move through it. I feel like this person is sad too. This person that you're dealing with, but they don't want you to know. Someone's ego is in the way here big time. It's like they don't want to speak up about their feelings. I fear you're going to find someone better if I don't get it together soon. I get so jealous knowing there could be somebody else in your life. You make me feel happy and complete. Your presence soothes me. So I feel like this person missed you, but they can't be with you. Letting you down was the worst mistake I've ever made. I allow others to get in the way of us. I'm so used to toxic relationships that I thought you were just another one. I'm afraid to hurt the people I love to be with you. I'm trying to be fair to everyone involved. Yeah. See, they're with someone and they can't come towards you. I feel like they still have love for you, but it's just like they're just going to 
you know, continue to hold back. I just feel like this person is going to continue to hold back um, for a little while longer. But let's see. Let's pull some Tarot. And let's see what else comes out here. Because I feel like someone is thinking about you, missing you, loving you, wanting to be with you, wanting to talk to you, but holding back because they know they can't come towards you the way they want or they know that you want something that they can't give you. Spirit, what messages do you have? What messages do you have for the collectives? Some of you can be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. We have the King of Cups here, a devoted, protective, emotionally mature person that holds in their feelings. The King of Cups is someone who does not wear their heart on their sleeves, okay? So this person will love the hell out of you and you won't even know it, <laughs> which makes no sense to me. It makes no sense to me when someone loves someone and won't let them know it. Like, what are you going to... It's like, why hold on to that information and keep it inside like what good is that doing you but anyway so we have seven of wands yeah someone is like it's like feel like somebody is setting boundaries here this could be you setting boundaries here okay maybe you still want this person as well but you're setting boundaries because maybe this person doesn't know how to treat you maybe something happened between the two of you and whatever happened in this connection you're not sure about it anymore you're not sure if you want this person. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collectors? We have seven of cups, fantasy choices, and lots of options. Yeah, I feel like some of you have options, but there's only one person that you want. I'm strongly picking that up here. That some of you have a lot of people vying for your attention, but you only want this one person. We have two of wands waiting for future planning, needing to choose a path. Yeah, someone is confused here, but the two of wands could be a fire sign that you guys are dealing with. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and we have wishing, replaying events, suffering in silence. Uh, like this is what I keep seeing in the reading. Someone is just being silent. Their ego is so horrible. Okay, their ego and their pride is so horrible that it will not allow them to reach out to you, even though they're hurting. And they're wanting to be with you. We have hangman, sacrifice for love, new perspective. They're trying to figure out a new way to come at you or to talk to you or to open up. I feel like you guys are dealing with someone who's not used to opening up about their feelings. It's like they hold everything in and every other relationship or connection they've been in. It's like they didn't trust the love with the person or maybe they got hurt. And so this person has... Um, it's like they've learned, they have some sort of learned behavior of how to uh, repress their emotions. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. All right. So some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. We have the lover's card here. We also have forbidden. Family and friends don't approve. So I feel like someone doesn't approve of the connection that they have with you possibly because they're married or they're in another committed situation and all of their friends and their family knows this person so that when it comes to you someone that they truly love they're afraid that their friends and family won't approve so they keep you hidden they keep you a secret maybe a gemini for some of you spirit what messages do you have for the collectives what messages do you have for the collectives we have judgment. Someone's going to be making a decision about you, though, to renew the love, to reconcile. Could be a Scorpio. Could be a Scorpio here for some of you. And this person wants to renew what you guys have. Spare, what messages do you have? What messages do you have for the collectors? Yep, we have the Queen of Cups. A lot of emotions in this reading. Someone is extremely emotional about the situation and watching you. Again, this person has options or you have a lot of options and they only want you. They're keeping their eye on you with this page of swords. Could be a younger air sign, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. I feel like this person is sort of waiting. They're either waiting to reach out to you, waiting for the right time to reach out, or they're waiting for you to reach out to them. What messages do you have for the collectives? What do they need to know? Yeah, this person has a family. We have the strength card 
and the three of cups so someone could be trying to like hold themselves back from you with the strength card here it could be a leo they're in a family situation here though with the three of cups but i feel like this person still wants you with the ten of pentacles this person could be married and maybe keeping it a secret I'm also seeing with that Ten of Pentacles that some of you, um, your money may be increasing here in the next couple of weeks or the next couple of months. I don't know why I'm picking up that off that Ten of Pentacles. Spirit, what messages do you have? The collectives. I keep seeing this Three of Swords. Someone is heartbroken over you and not saying it. They're not telling anyone. They're just keeping it to themselves. Yeah, this person knows there's some sort of change that they need to make here. Change and transformation. Death card, Scorpio energy. Some of you are dealing with a Scorpio here. Or this person knows that they have to change something in order to come towards you. And I just feel like they're holding back because they have not made that change. Or they don't know if they can make it. Or if they should. I feel like your person and their person are just not on good terms though. For some reason, so if you're dealing with someone that they're holding back from you, but they're not on good terms with someone that they're married to or living with. Spare what messages do you have? Yeah, it could be a Capricorn for some of you. I keep seeing the devil or someone has an obsession and a, an addiction to you. They could have walked away from you, but they're coming back around. We also have the eight of wands here. So some of you may be dealing with someone who lives at a distance. They're not done with this connection. Maybe they walked away for whatever reason, but now this person wants to come back around or they're obsessively thinking about you. They have some sort of addiction, less temptation. There's some sort of passion. The sex could be really good. They could miss that. I do see communication coming though i saw that in the other cards that i pulled for you guys before these cards the eight of wands is here the eight of wands talks about fast messages coming in out of the blue someone taking action because wands are action so i feel like there could be a fire sign taking action towards you so what messages do you have yeah, the king of pentacles for some of you it's an earth sign virgo taurus or a capricorn this person wants to bring you out of the cold with the five of pentacles yeah they're thinking about the situation it's an earth sign for some of you for sure virgo taurus capricorn um this person is wondering should they continue to invest in this if you're holding back from this person collective they may feel like you don't want them anymore but i feel like some of you are holding back because you're hurting you're sad um you could be depressed you could be heartbroken of, um, over something this person said or did. Or maybe that this person is just, it's like things don't seem right between the two of you. And you're not happy with the way things are, but this person may feel like you don't want them anymore. Spirit, what messages do you have? I feel like some of you are wanting change from your person. And it's like they're bringing everything else except that. <laughs> you're like, wow. You have the two of cups. So this person loves you. They may feel like you're their soulmate or you're very compatible or it's like maybe you were the best connection that they've ever had. Yeah, it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius or an air sign. The king of swords is here as well. Libra, Gemini or an Aquarius. For some of you, this could be the connection that you're in. Some of you could be dealing with the queen of wands and some of you could be dealing with the king of swords. And this is the connection for you and there's a lot of passion and chemistry, but something that's keeping you guys from being together. It could be something or someone that's in the middle. And so you guys can't come together because of that. Spirit, so what messages do you have? What messages do you have for the collectives? What could they expect during retrograde? Oh, someone's coming out of their ego so you guys can have a new beginning with the Five of Swords reverse and the Ace of Cups. This person's being sneaky, though. They may have to sneak away from someone or something to come toward you. And I feel like this is what this person is trying to figure out. Do I want to do this? Okay. Do I want to invest in this connection? Because if I invest in this connection, this is what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to sneak away from something or someone in order to have this new beginning. But this person is ready to come out of their pride and ego with that five of swords reversed. This person is very petty. They like to argue. They like to win at all costs. 
but I feel like they may be thinking about the situation. Like, that's not the best route to go with you. Yeah, the Emperor. Someone is coming in to take control of the situation at some point. So expect this during retrograde season. Expect communication here. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries or someone who's very controlling. It's like they're very adamant about things that they say or do. But that's only on their end, right? Not on yours. It's like um, <laughs> they want to be right. They want to run the show. But when it comes to showing up as the person you want them to be, I feel like this person like backs down or they shy away from it or it's like they distance themselves. And some of you could be tired of that. Yeah, this person sees you as the nine of pentacles. We have the knight of cups here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, some of you guys were dealing with, or this person is about to bring some love towards you. Yep, Nine of Cups. You cannot make it up. Nine of Cups, Knight of Cups. This person still loves the hell out of you. And I feel like you love them too, Collective, but it's like it's something that's keeping you guys from being together. For one, I feel like it's this person's pride and ego. It's like they won't speak up. They won't say what they're feeling and thinking. They keep it to themselves. They want to come out of this tower situation you guys were in. The tower is reversed here. Could be with the Scorpio for some of you. They want to bring you out of this tower situation because they're looking at you as a nine of pentacles. Like they don't want you to get away. They have too much love for you. They may feel like they're never going to be able to replace you. Maybe they tried to replace you and it didn't work. Yeah. For some of you. This is what I'm seeing here. Swear, what messages do you have for the collectors? Right, I'm going to pull one more and we're going to get some message cards. Well, Spirit said two more. Judgment again. Okay, you guys had judgment in the other deck. We have judgment in the full card. So someone's going to be taking a leap into... <laughs> someone's going to be taking a leap of faith. I was just seriously about to like fumble and mix up those words. Someone's going to be taking a leap of faith towards you. They've already made up their mind with the judgment card. Um, possibly an Aries or a Scorpio. Okay, for some of you. But if you're not dealing with either one of those signs, just know that this person has already made up their mind about coming towards you, wanting a new beginning. Um, I feel like they are stagnant, though. I feel like this person is taking their time. I'm surprised I did not see the Knight of Pentacles, but we do have the Page of Cups. So this person wants to offer their love. I feel like someone is just sitting around thinking about you, hoping that you're thinking about them as well. Wanting to reunite with you. Wow, look at these cards you guys are getting. The world's reversed. They don't want this. Um, they don't want this cycle to end. I don't feel like you guys do either, but I just feel like some of you are stuck and you don't know what to do because this person won't talk to you, they won't open up. So you're like, okay, well, I don't have any choice but to be silent because if someone's not gonna talk, you know, you can't talk to yourself. All right, so let's pull some message cards here before we end this reading okay <laughs> i didn't even get a chance to shuffle unavailable you are chasing someone unavailable or you are the one who is running away okay spirit what messages do you have what messages do you have for the collectives what do they need to know why the freak this whole deck just flew out of my hands. I'm sorry. Somebody wants to talk to you and they're hiding big time. When all of my cards keep flying out of the deck like that, that's somebody who wants communication. They want conversation with you. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collectors? Spirit, what messages do you have? We have getting crumbs. You deserve more than crumbs of affection. Wait for the one who adores you. We also have vulnerable. You cannot experience true intimacy unless you open your heart and be yourself. Yeah, there's someone here where they just need to open up and be who they are. No matter what it is that they got going on, you know, they just need to let you see the real them. But this person is afraid to do that. We have not committed, always chasing or being chased. You must be willing to commit to one person. We also have playing games. You don't need to play games to keep the right one interested in you. So this person could be playing games with you. They could be playing a lot of mind games, like just being very um, deceitful 
you know, because this is what they're used to doing. We have ambivalent. You say you want a lover, but you're not all in. Take time to figure out what you want. Yeah, so I feel like the universe is saying your person needs to take time to figure out what they want um, and stop playing mind games. We also have too risky. You feel like it's not worth the risk, but opening your heart is a risk worth taking. And we have boundaries. You need to hold good boundaries so you don't feel violated and confusion. You don't know what you want, so you need clarity before getting involved. So the universe is saying, think about what it is that you want from this person and this connection before actually getting involved with them. But I do see someone coming back wanting to fix things with you guys. Um, I also feel like someone may be sad um, or wanting to take back something they said or did. Yeah, because they feel like you're being cold. You seem unapproachable because you are aloof. Try being more friendly. And then we have feel unloved. You deserve someone who can support you emotionally and love you fully. Let's get one more. Love's the answer. Love won't solve your problems. You need to work on being independent. So I feel like some of you are working on being independent, but your person don't like it. They like when you're like chasing them or you know, all into them. We have settling. Don't stay with someone who isn't right for you just because it's safe. All right. And then we have at the bottom of the deck, lone wolf. Are you really a loner or are you afraid of loving someone who could hurt you? So some of you may be holding back from someone who you feel is going to hurt your feelings. And you're like, I cannot love this person if they're going to keep treating me like this. And even though you have a space in your heart for them, it's like you're not making any moves. Okay. So those are the messages that I have for your reading collectives. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Christ Never Lied to Row. I'm also on TikTok at The Empress 522. And I will see you guys in the next reading. Bye.